just wanna love you, just wanna hold you. Hey just friends, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Bethany. Here on my channel you can find cleaning motivation, lifestyle videos, all the things. Today's a video I am bringing you a homemaking video. I'm going to be sharing a really yummy chicken pot pie recipe as well as sharing some cleaning motivation. So if you like videos like this, please leave it a big thumbs up. Let's go ahead and get on into it. So I just want to say thank you so much to all of you who are here and watch my videos and engage in the comments. It really means the world to me. I love chatting with you guys. I love connecting with you and just hearing about you, but knowing that these videos motivate you as well just brings me so much joy. So I just wanted to pop in and say thank you guys so much for always being here and always supporting and just let you guys know how much that I appreciate you. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You set my world on fire. You set my world on fire. I just want you. So I think we've reached a point where we live that we can finally take our AC units out. My husband and I were talking about that last night, so I'm kind of excited to get those out of the windows and just have all that window space back. And if it does get a little bit warmer during the day, we always have the option to put a fan in the window, and so I'm just so excited for that. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide I would love to hear from you guys what is one thing you are looking forward to this upcoming season and year. Something we're really excited for is I really love fall and Christmas so I'm really excited to decorate but I'm also excited for the upcoming spring and summertime because we have planned to do a garden this year and do a lot more canning and just growing the food that we can where we live so I'm really excited for all of that coming up I've kind of been thinking about the items that I want to grow and what kind of space we have so what can we grow and I'm just so excited for all of that
get it Bend open my heart like you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love and leave me breathless, breathless so i know i'm gonna get some questions about this and what this is on my counter this is my sourdough starter i am on day four of it today when i'm doing the voiceover it's actually day five so i'm really excited to see how this turns out it looks like it's been activating pretty well from what i can tell as long as you're getting bubbles and things like that in there, that is an indication that it is activating well. And so this is my first time making sourdough bread, sourdough starter. So if you have made it and you have any recommendations or suggestions, please let me know down in the comments because I am completely new to it. But it looked like so much fun and I am all about just trying to find ways to make things at home so I can limit what I have to buy at the grocery store and I keep it on this counter because the dishwasher is right here and whenever the dishwasher is running it brings up heat through um, like the countertop and you're supposed to put it in a warm place so that's why I keep it there I also keep the bottle of water because whenever you feed it you're supposed to feed it filtered water so um, I keep the bottle of water right there as well but now that everything is pretty much clean in the kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and light my candle. I really just wanted to light a fall candle today and have that going and it just makes the home smell so, so good. And if you notice the humidifier going right there, um, you know, we live in a mobile home and where we live, when it gets cold outside, it gets a super dry cold. So we have to have humidifiers running quite often in the fall and winter um, just so that way our skins don't dry out and we don't get things like eczema and stuff it just really helps especially with the quality of air in the home too and all the dust allergens on top of our air purifier so we have those running but now to start on the chicken pot pie a few things you're going to need is some garlic some onion I am using some mushrooms, those are optional, but I had them on hand and they're about to go bad, so I'm going to use those. And then some carrots, you will need some frozen peas here in a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and melt about 4 tablespoons of butter in my pan. I can link the recipe that I kind of followed below. Um, I didn't follow it to a T, to a T. I kind of eyeballed um, what I thought would look good for our family and it turned out absolutely wonderful spoiler alert it was so delicious um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the carrots and the onions in the melted butter I'm gonna cook those down till they're soft and trans the onions are translucent and once those are cooked down then you are going to be able to add your garlic and you only want to like you want to add this a little bit um, before you're actually going to put all the rest of their ingredients in there because you don't want to burn the garlic you just want it to be fragrant so I'm going to go ahead and squeeze three cloves of garlic in there and then let give that a good stir and let that cook for just a few minutes we're lighting up the sky it's what we do we shouldn't care about anyone or anything that brings us down so come on now Once you've added your garlic and it's getting really fragrant, you can add your mushrooms if you add mushrooms to it or 
Um, if you don't, that's okay too, but it tasted really good and it gave it a really good flavor, so I went ahead and added my mushrooms, gave that a good stir. While that was cooking down a little bit, I was chopping my chicken, and I had just put this chicken in the air fryer and let it cook, and then I cut it up and it turned out really good actually. Um, so then I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken, give that a good stir, get it all coated with the butter and everything, and then once you get that coated, you are going to take some salt and some pepper, season it to taste. I didn't put too much in here and it had the perfect amount of flavor. It was just absolutely delicious. I, The leftovers on this are going to be amazing and I'm just so excited for it. My husband was like, you definitely need to make this one again. It is that perfect comfort food. Um, but once you add your salt and pepper, give it a good stir and then it says to add one third cup of flour, but I just honestly eyeballed it. Um, and sometimes eyeballing is just what works for me. Um, but I'll definitely leave the recipe below if you want to follow that to the T. I went ahead and stirred all the flour in and then I took some veggie stock that my dad and I canned in one of my last videos and I started stirring that in there until it was thick and if it was too thick I just kept adding. I ended up using the whole jar in there but that homemade veggie stock gave it the perfect flavor. The recipe called for chicken stock which would be good in here as well. Or chicken broth but this is what I have on hand and I really wanted to try it in a recipe and oh my gosh I will forever make this veggie stock and just keep this on hand because it gives it a good flavor but it also takes the flavor of what you're cooking if that makes any sense so if you're making like a beef meal you could totally put this in a beef meal and it, it wouldn't be like overpowered with veggies it's delightful um, but once I got all that mixed together and it's thickening up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and dump in some frozen peas. And frozen peas are in the recipe, um, but I went ahead and just poured some of those in according to what I thought looked good. I'm totally winging this whole recipe, but it just, it turned out lovely. Um, and then you do want to add about two tablespoons of milk, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. Give it a good stir, let it, um, you know, marinate thicken up a little bit and then once it's thickened up you can go ahead and put it in your pie crust I did not I thought I had a pie dish but I guess I didn't I have this dish and it's a little bit deeper than a pie dish um, so I kind of had to make do but it worked um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour the mixture into the pie crust once I get that in there I'm gonna kind of even it out with the spoon and then the next step is completely optional and probably not what most people would put in their chicken pot pie but I had this cheese on hand and we like cheese here so I went ahead and sprinkled some of this mozzarella cheese over the top oh my goodness it was so good especially under the crust and like it just held everything together it was oh, so delicious I cannot tell you guys enough how good this pie was <laughs> was so so good so I went ahead and sprinkled some of that if you want to use cheese you could use mozzarella or any cheese you have on hand to be honest um, that's just the one I had on hand and I want to use it up before it goes bad so I put that on there and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the top of my pie crust you could make homemade crust if you want to the recipe actually calls for homemade crust but I didn't have the time to do that so um, I had bought some crust but I'm going to go ahead and just put my crust on there. I did peel off some of the edges because they were a little bit too big for my pie pan. So I peeled some of that off and then I'm just going to go ahead and roll it down and then take a fork and press it together and then cut my holes in the top. And then after that, you are going to need to make an egg wash, brush your egg wash over it, bake it at 425 for 30 to 35 minutes, and then You'll have to see how it comes out. It is perfection. I want to hold his hand because I can't stop thinking about him. I wouldn't understand if I told him how I feel about him.
if you guys end up making this recipe, I would love to hear what you think about it. It was the perfect dish for a cold night. I would love to hear what your favorite comfort food is. As always, I thank you so much for being here and joining me for another video. If you are in need of prayer, let me know down in the comments. I love to pray for you. I love to hear your praise reports as well. As always, thank you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.